This week's parsha is Parsha Tazria, and it speaks about somebody who is a Mitzora, somebody who has uh, a leprous looking disease on their skin. Uh, usually it's a, a patch of white spots. He has to leave the entire camp of Israel when he has something like this. Why did God punish such a person and just give him this p- disease? One of the reasons is because they spoke Lashon Hara. They spoke ill about somebody. And usually Lashon Hara is when it is true. Because if it's not true, that's a different event era altogether, different sin altogether. So if you speak about somebody else behind their back, making them look bad in a way that is true, that's already Lashon Hara. It's called bad speech. And one of the things that you, one of the ways you get punished for that is by becoming a Mitsora. And I was just thinking like the word Mitsora, Matsu Ra, you find bad. I just thought about that, so I just figured, like, you know, I'll share it. Because one of the things that the Chafetz Chaim says is if you want to not talk Lashon Hara, one of the things he says that you are supposed to do, and it actually is a tool to help you not talk Lashon Hara, is by being dan l'chavzchus, is to give somebody the benefit of the doubt. You saw somebody doing something wrong, you want to tell somebody, but before you go and judge that person and say, oh, what a jerk, how could he do such a thing? How could she do such a thing? You say, you know what? Maybe there was a situation and they weren't feeling well and they had to do it for whatever reason and it wasn't their fault. You do that? You do that? First of all, God guarantees that he will judge you favorably because you just judge that person favorably. But also you are finding the good in that person. So that's why I'm thinking maybe that's possibly why somebody is called a mitzora is because they mitzora. They found the bad in somebody. So before you go backwards, I yell at the person or speak badly about that person and tell other people, oh my gosh, got some juice. We just got to find the good and then we'll stay away from getting blotches on our skin and instead we will win. Have a great Shabbos. Woo-hoo. It's freezing.